Hey my sweet pen friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Devin. In today's video, I wanted to share a beginner's guide to pen paling and how to write your first pen pal letter. This is all in celebration of Inkorimo, which is coming up in February. So in this video, I'll share what pen paling is, why it's so great, how to get started, and all the details about Inkorimo. First off, what is a pen pal? A pen pal is someone that you exchange letters with. This could be someone that you already know, such as a friend or a family relative, or it might be someone that you don't know. And we'll talk a little bit more about that later on in the video. Why is pen paling so great? Well, it is for a number of reasons. Personally, for me, I feel like it's such a beautiful return to the days of letter writing. So much of what we know now is through our devices. We send text messages, emails, direct messages, I mean, there's so much more. And for us to kind of take a step back, slow things down and get in touch with pen and paper, I think that's something really special. And there is just this quality about receiving a letter and sending a letter that can't be replicated over electronic devices. Pen paling is a great way to keep in touch with old friends and to even make some new ones. I'd also like to add that it's a super fun way to use your stationery and who doesn't love that? You might be thinking, well, that sounds great. How do I get started? Well, the first step is to find a pen pal. If you are under the age of 18, I do recommend talking to your parent or guardian before corresponding with someone that you don't know. And even if you're over the age of 18, I think it's good to let your friends and family know if you are starting to get to know a, a stranger. Above all else, your safety is most important. Now, if you don't feel comfortable corresponding with strangers, that's perfectly okay. You can correspond with family members, friends, classmates, or you could even write pen pal letters to your future or younger self. If you're looking to find pen pals beyond the circle of who you already know, some great places to look would be Pen Pal World. This is considered one of the largest and safest pen pal exchanges, I believe. I personally haven't used it, but again, it's regarded as such, so I'll have a link to that in the description box below if you'd like to check it out. Another place is Instagram. I know that a very popular hashtag that people use is hashtag pen pals wanted. Personally, for me, all of my pen pals have been found through this channel. So finding people with common interests, I talk a lot about fountain pens. So I think all of my pen pals at the moment, if not all of them, use fountain pens and that's something that we've bonded over. So of course, feel free to write me. My PO box is listed in the description box below. Now that you've found your pen pal, it's time to sit down to write your letter. Now, depending on what you've decided amongst yourselves, who's gonna send the first letter, I think that the contents will vary, but typically this is an opportunity for you to introduce yourself. So on a piece of paper, you'll write your pen pal name at the top, a date on the upper right hand corner, and then you can share with them a little bit about yourself. It's whatever you feel most comfortable telling them. And I would say that if you have found this pen pal through a common interest, then definitely ask them about that. For example, when I'm corresponding with my pen pals, I like to ask if they've acquired any new fountain pens or inks, or if you have a K-pop pen pal, then you can talk about who your bias is for which K-pop group you guys bond over. I mean, the possibilities are endless. You can also ask them a little bit about themselves and just keep it light, keep it fun, and don't stress out too much about it. Once you're done with the body of the letter, you can sign off at the bottom. If you'd like to, you can include some extras. It's not necessary, but I think once you get into pen paling, your creative juices start flowing. And when you've corresponded with a variety of people, you get to see that some of them like to include fun little things such as stickers, washi tape, all sorts of ephemera. So it's really fun to be able to put together a little happy mail package for your pen pal and to receive it as well. So again, totally not necessary. All you need is a letter 
but if you'd like to get creative with it, then those are some ideas for you to start with. To send your letter, you'll want to make sure that you include the proper postage in the upper right hand corner of the envelope. I personally enjoy using forever stamps for both domestic and international letters. This gives me peace of mind that I actually have enough postage to send the letter to my pen pal. And if you don't want to have to fuss with a scale or don't have one, then something that I did when my brother was in boot camp and I was writing him letters was I actually weighed out how many pieces of paper I could put in an envelope that would equate to one ounce. And if you're not already familiar, one ounce is what's covered by a forever stamp, at least for domestic letters. I don't know if that covers international. But anyways, I would send him four sheets of 11 by eight and a half paper and that plus the envelope was pretty close to one ounce. Sometimes I would put washi tapes and stickers on these letters, but generally speaking, about four sheets of 11 by eight and a half paper plus an envelope will be close to one ounce. And you can just put a forever stamp on that and it should send just fine. Now let's talk about Inkorimo. Inkorimo is International Correspondence Writing Month. It happens every February and I'll have a link to Inkorimo in the description box below if you'd like to read and learn a little bit more about it. Essentially, the month is dedicated to written correspondence. So every day you write and send a letter. This can be a letter that's hand delivered or sent through the postal service and the most important thing is that you're sitting down and you're actually writing the letter so emails text messages anything that's via a device isn't really counted this will be my second year participating in Inko Rimo, and I'm very excited about it I'll probably set up a tracker in my plan with me video so stay tuned for that I feel like if you're just getting into pen paling then Inko Rimo is an amazing source of information and I think they're even doing a pen pal address exchange on the website so again I'll have that linked off in the description box below along with all the other stuff I talked about today I would love to hear from you are you participating painting in Inko Rimo this year, let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with a pen friend who you think might also enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and to turn on those notifications that way you don't miss any of our videos. I do my best to upload here every Wednesday at 8 a.m. PST, so please take care until then. Feel free to enjoy these two videos linked here on the screen. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.